You know, I'm going to be who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. I don't have to fake my fake it and try to be someone I'm not. You know, I, especially to the girls, I'm telling you, and I'm, I'm done with this talk. But the, but, but the younger girls in the audience and the, the young sisters that I have, one of the crises that we have in the U.S. and I think it's all over the world is self-esteem for Muslim women. Self-esteem for Muslim women. You know, you have you have non-Muslims that can dress however they want, and we have restrictions on how you can dress. And you feel like, well, I have to look ugly, and they get to look so beautiful. And some girls, some girls feel that way. And why do I have to wear this thing? You know, or why am I so short? And why am I so fat? Or why am I so skinny? Or why am I so this? Or why, why are my eyes so far apart? Why is my nose so big? Why are my teeth not aligned? Why you're so overly conscious of yourself? Why is there this dot on my cheek over here? If you stretch it so much, you might see it. Oh, it's so ugly. And you're like looking at it for 35 minutes in the mirror. You know, you, you have to find comfort with yourself. You have to be comfortable with who you are. This is really important, you know. And don't wish for what somebody has. So beautiful. Don't wish for what other people have. Oh, I wish I was as tall as this one. I wish I was as wealthy as that one. I wish I had those clothes. I wish I looked like that. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. No, actually Allah made you awesome. That's it. It's good enough. And the, the parents that are in the audience, it is your absolute responsibility, especially to your daughters, to compliment them. It's not wrong of you to tell them they're beautiful. You should tell them they're beautiful. Because if they don't hear that from you, they're gonna look to hear that from somebody else. Dummy. Do it yourself. You have to do that, you know. Our girls have low self-esteem because nobody validates them. Nobody tells, especially the fathers, especially, not the mothers. Mothers love anyway, you know. The fathers, you have to go out of your way to compliment your daughters. And stop having the attitude that nothing, nothing they do is good enough. Stop talking down to them. It's killing them. It's killing them. In our deen, we always talk about the rights of the parents and they have rights, but they have responsibilities too, you know. This is why they'll end up in, you know, uh, you know, bad kinds of relationships if we don't do that. If we don't take care of this, this uh, scenario. So this is, these are just a few things I wanted to share with you about friendship. I pray that this discussion was of some benefit to, to all of you, inshallah ta'ala. I'm, I'm, first of all, really, really honored to be here. And tomorrow, I'm giving you a heads up right now. Tomorrow's talk is going to be a lot different from today's. You know why? Because I'm not going to be sitting at a table. I can't see everyone. So I'm going to be walking around. I prefer doing that because it's scarier for you because you never know if I'll pick on you and stuff and that's it's better it keeps you awake and afraid you know worried for your dignity so and I I don't mind picking on sisters I'll pick on you I'll just like no he would never yeah I would 